Do you have a best friend? Good evening, everyone, or good morning, wherever you are. I'm asking you, do you have a best friend? Because Jesus went to his best friends when he would feel tiredness after meeting so many people. Jesus would go and rest in the house of Lazarus and the house of Martha and Mary. They are the best friends of Jesus. When you have a best friend, you can be who you are. If you are tired, then you are tired. You can put your feet up. You can even soak. Pwede ka magtampo. <laughs> best friend mo eh. Maunawaan ka eh. And then, one day, Lazarus got sick and died. How painful it is for the sisters to realize, Martha and Mary, to realize that the master was not with them in that moment of pain. But then, when Jesus was told, your friend, your friend is sick and died. You know what, Lazar, what Jesus did? He did not pay attention. He continued on his work. He continued on. And then he allowed the other, the, the sisters to experience that there is a beauty in waiting. They waited. Kayo po ba? Alam niyo maghintay. Ang hirap kaya maghintay, di ba? Pero you know what? Jesus did not go immediately to heal or to raise Lazarus from the dead. But then, when Jesus went there, three days after, Martha came to him and with maybe like a finger pointing, blaming voice said, you did not come. If you were here, then my brother would not have died. And, he's, and she cried. And you know, Jesus said, bring me where you buried him. Show me where you buried him. And then at the mouth of the tomb, it is said that Jesus cried. Jesus wept. Have you ever experienced weeping as though you are snorting like a horse? <laughs> Why am snorting like a horse? The Greek word of weep is like that. It's like <sighs> snorting like a horse. Meaning to say, his whole body was rocked in weeping. He loved Lazarus. But then he had to wait. Sometimes we need to wait. And when he said, Lazarus, come out, then lo and behold, Lazarus came out of the tomb. And then he was there, reunited with Jesus, reunited with Martha and Mary. Are you still in the tomb? Come out of your tomb. Don't stay in the darkness. Allow yourself to experience beauty. Allow yourself to experience beautiful colors and taste your food, hear good music, feel the love of your friends. Sometimes we don't like to get out of our tomb. Come in the light. Jesus loves you. You are blessed and you are special.